Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. Um, F1 is, uh, is now level 30, and uh, this time we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and explore this next town. In Tander, there are two sheep Pokemon that can be sheared for their wool, Mareep and Bashan. However, Bashan are much more um, temperamental and hard to raise. Want to take a uh, signing lessons or singing lessons? Let me hear your voice. Come on, don't be shy. Hey, you heard me, right? I want to hear you sing. I'm a silent protagonist. <laughs> it's okay. I love the countryside. It means I can be, like, free and in tune with nature and all that, yo. I lived in a uh, v Vinaville town my entire life as I have my parents and their parents before them. Yeah, I think I mentioned this last episode, but I've always loved farmlands in games like this. Life is best when people and Pokemon live in harmony. That's uh, that's the God's will. Um, how many Pokeballs do I got? Oh, I got like, yeah, I got like 30, I'm fine. You're, you found me. I'm playing hide-and-seek with my brother. Don't tell him I'm here, alright? I'll give you a berry, so please keep quiet. Well, that's fine. <laughs> what the... Oh, I totally would've hit something up there. Yeah, whatever. Part of the value of, the, of a TM is determined by how many Pokémon species are capable of learning it. TMs like Return, Double Team, Hidden Power, Toxic, Protect, and Attract can be learned by a great many Pokémon. Where she was going there, I thought she was going to give me one. Nah, whatever. Some days I go out and work in the fields. Others I sell what we grow in the town square. Farming hard. Uh, farming is hard work, but it's the honest living. Are you going to see uh, the sermon at the church? The father is very welcoming and those who want to learn. I think it's a church right there. Rare candy, always nice. I'm playing hide and seek with my sister. Now it's uh, my turn to look for her. If I give um, you a berry, will you help me look for her? Uh, wait. <laughs> I kind of want to talk to you again. <laughs> Just in case I do say where she is. Oh, speaking of TMs, that's not a really good one, though. Tanu are such beautiful climate. Uh, we, can, uh, we can grow nearly year-round. A life without Pokemon would be uh, fruitless. The gods create man and Pokemon to work together. You look hungry. Here, take these berries. Oh, those are good. We have whole items, though. Like, we have, like, permanent hold items, so I don't really need berries anymore. All welcome. Sermon weekly information provided. Alright. Let's check out the church, then. Pokemon humans, god, legends, all celebrate the glory of life. I... Oteus is the for the clean purifying of wind, Muteus for the clean purifying of water, and above them all, the great Arceus. Those... The first two were names I do not recognize. I wonder if they're unique to this game. Do take a look at the books beside the altar. Uh, perhaps they can teach you something about our ways. Hmm. Wait, what that say? Readings for chumps. <laughs> it's... Now, I'll probably learn more about this later. Um, hello, young child. I see that, um, that spark in your eyes. You are curious, no? Faith is not an oft-expressed element of Tandorian life. Nevertheless, most Tandorians worship in their own ways. Shall I tell you about the legends of Tandor? Eh, sure. <laughs> we gotta hear some lore in this episode. Uh, we Tandorians do not believe in a single deity, such as uh, the thousands-armed creator, uh, creator of Sinnoh. Rather, we believe that the universe began with nothing. From that nothing came two other beings, white and black, positive and negative. Past and future, wind and water, fire, lightning, push and pull, across the world they are called many things. Here in Tandor, our names for them are Iotis and Muteus. Um, they take many aspects, some human, others Pokemon. Together, they raise Pokemon of metal... 
La Lathan and Acton, and un unto the humans of Tandor, they gave five orders. Make no violence unto thy enemy, um, unto thy enemies, and they will not make violence unto you. Harm not the Pokemon of Tandor, and they will not harm you. Cultivate the land of the rich yield, or to the rich yield. Desire is the pathway to ruin. Bring knowledge to those that seek it. So they have commanded, so we shall live by it. The bowl between humankind and Atios and Mutios is uh, like the between that between uh, Pokemon trainers. Like Pokemon, we listen, obey, and protect. We protect. Thank you for listening to my story, my child. Here is something to award your patience. Huh, interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait, Techno? Oh, it's probably an Electric Gym, then. We don't have a Ground type, though. This might be difficult. We do have Dig. We do have K9000 with Dig. Oh, there you are. Good to see you. Uh, the gym's leader is uh, is Sheldon. He uses steel types in technology. Oh, it's steel. Okay. It's not really out of place among all this beautiful farmland. I was about to bring that up. That is very strange. Don't tell him I said that. Steel resists a lot of types. Remember that it melts under fire, bends under fists, and fractures in the earth. Water is generally a good bet, too. Good luck. Yeah, because water, I think, also resists steel. Uh, who wouldn't? Oh! Oh, so we got invisible pathways. Oh! Okay, and there's an incentive to not fall down them. Oh, this trainer's down here, too. Okay, so it's like that, um... Oh, man. Who ran that fire gym in, uh, in Gen 3? I think her name was Flannery, but what the... Oh. S51? It's a UFO. That's kind of weird. Look, I like this thing, actually. <laughs> it's probably Psychic Steel. <clears throat> Kind of a behemoth vibe from this, yeah, most definitely. Oh, good, I flinched him. I think I mentioned this before, but I took a peek at um the moves Tatter learns, or Tatters learns. And at, um, level 38, he'll learn, a like, an exclusive move that I don't think is from the, like, actual Pokemon games. Then I think at that point I'm going to evolve him. We're not too far away. Maybe, like, by the next gym I should be able to do it. Go look in your, on your pity journey. Excuse me? You know, let's switch to you. You're not going to get too much use in this gym, so I might as well just uh, see if, like, who knows, who knows. At long last, I have created life? What? <laughs> That's not easy to do. So I can have, like, a homunculus Pokemon or something? Nope, just more UFOs. All right. Oh, we have Dig. Forgot about that. You might have Levitate, though. You kind of look like you would. He does, okay. This is not a really good matchup then. Um, hmm. Alright, beat up should still hit six times. Wait, Braylip? It's either a steel- that's not a steel type. <laughs> Wait, that's with extra- huh, interesting. That might still kill if I get lucky. 
Yeah, it did. Ah, man, I love Beat Up. Beat Up is a really underrated move. I think Sneasel also gets it. You shattered my test tube? Okay, um... Okay, we got a, a rocker right here. These puzzles must be real confusing to you, right? No? No, I'm just I'm just clearing out this place, you know? Clapton? That's a weird name. <laughs> also, this isn't a steel type. I guess it's kind of a good thing, because I can have you out. Hmm. We'll go for Rock Blast. Because multi-striking moves are good. I might swap out after this. Oh yeah, most definitely now. Even though I somehow outspeed this thing. I don't know what speed is, but it doesn't look like it should outspeed me. Uh, the steel deer. Or the bomb thing. That must be sturdy, yeah. Metal whip? That's a new move. Oh, interesting. From the name, and from what I just said right there, I'm going to assume that's a steel version of Rap. Which is actually kind of interesting. Huh. Alright, that appears to have uh, cleared out everything down here. And, um, yep, okay, I was going to assume that was it. I like how you can run on it as it's... Oh, did you see that? It appears like whatever this is, it activates all of them. Yeah, they activate the one down there, too. Huh, I might see if I can run along that as fast as I can. What do you know about computer? A lot, actually. Like, <laughs> it's... Oh, look at this background. That's cool. That's a new Pokemon, too. Har... Harlect. Huh, probably... It's based off of Firefly, obviously. Most well, definitely Bug-type, but it, it looks like it might be faster than me, so I'm going to swap out. Uh, we'll go to you. You probably can't do much to me. Oh, wow. Okay, electric is weak, or nuclear is weak to electric. You know what, it's probably still faster than me. No, I'm faster than it. Huh, okay, that's good to keep in mind. Alright, next is another one of these.
Hmm, I kind of don't want to waste another two turns. She's Dragon Claw. It should be enough. Yeah, okay. Oh! Huh. That's actually kind of fun, though. Have <laughs> Having to run along that. I notice if I leave the room, um... While the thing is active, it'll be activated again when I uh, when I walk back in. <clears throat> in fact, oh goodness, where's the Pokemon Center? You know, I kind of wish Pokemon Centers in this game were closer to the um, to the entrances and exits of routes, because this one is just like in the corner, way far away from everything else. Like it's really inconvenient. Like, honestly, why not swap these two buildings? There's nothing you can do there. Like, just a little bit closer would have made it more convenient. That's where I would have put it. Okay, let's see if my theory is correct. Yep, it is. Huh. Oh, ah, I keep doing that. Oh no, I I, I did I did it right, or did I? Now nah, whatever. <laughs> I think the reason why that happens is because of how um RPG Maker handles events. <laughs> Sometimes events do reset if um if you leave a room when uh when it, oh this thing. Sometimes, um, uh, they do, um, what I'm trying to say, sometimes events in RPG Maker do reset if you leave a room. Sometimes, it feels kind of random, like, when it does and does not happen. Yo, I still gotta download Pokemon Essentials one of these days and try to just make something, because this looks really fun. Like, something I love about Pokemon fan games. That goes neutral, I just realized that, yeah. Aim Arena isn't an awful idea for this gym after all. I thought, I thought it was mostly gonna be like mechanical, electric, and steel types, but apparently not. And then, uh, this is the, um... That's the UFO. That hit five or six. No, that was six. You know, I think the thing I love about multi-striking attacks is that the likelihood of just one of them going critical just makes it so much better. Okay, now we got two of these right here. I'm gonna assume one is a dead end. I'll follow this one first. Oh, no. Uh, I forgot how far I can go back that way. Oh, it is a dead end. Alright. Experts theorize that eventually we will reach a point where technology exceeds humans in intelligence and will be able to re- uh, re what the- wait! <laughs> I didn't ask for your life story, <laughs> I'll say that much. I didn't expect uh, Sean to be the one to sweep this gym. I could have sworn it would have it was gonna be the K9000. Yeah, but as long as all six party members are alive, beat up is gonna do a lot. You know, off screen, um, Sean actually got the opportunity to learn um, Thief, which is a 60 power move that can like uh, that can like steal a hold item. Now, I just kind of feel like this attack does more damage, though. 
Or what's the name of now someone wanted to learn thief. Oh no no no, it was actually Tatters who wanted to learn Thief. I kept Bite, um, because um it's still a powerful move. I think they have the exact same power actually, and I like the flinch chance anyway. Yeah, so this is what the oh oh I have to do it both ways okay. I probably need to act. How did I do that? Um, I probably need to activate the switch on both sides. Actually, let's see if we can do this one. That one was easy. Lol, I'm girl gamer. Yeah, I'm a girl. I play video games. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let's go to Sean again. I'm noticing the leader has an evolution of this thing. It just kind of feels like it makes sense. I mean, I'm seeing enough of them in the gym itself. That might make you live uh, beat up, actually. That defense uh, rise. Oh, come on. Yeah, no doubt. I still did like two thirds of his health, though. I was like, beat up is so good. I'm still gonna heal up after this, though. I think this is the last trainer before the boss. I'm probably gonna hit that switch and it's gonna set up a bridge leads right to him. That's my guess, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I love beat up. Yep, there we go. I would have made it a different color. Like imagine taking like a like a golden bridge or a purple bridge up to the final uh, the final uh, challenge of the area. That would have been cool. Ah, eh, whatever though. I'm gonna go heal and then I'm gonna go uh, try see if I can take out that boss. I think, as per usual, I'm going to start with Sean because of Beat Up. <clears throat> Even though it might be a much better idea to start um, with someone else. Because I doubt he's going to use the evolution of that UFO first. Is that- what the- oh! But, okay, I guess, um, I don't know what happened there, but... Huh. That's very strange. Yeah, whatever. You solved my puzzles. Well, whatever. It was getting boring waiting around. This uh, this town is so boring. There's nothing to do. Those people are so happy farming and praying and stuff. They don't get it. Don't um, don't they know that their lives are pointless and inconsequential? What the no? It makes me so angry. My steel types are sick of being this in this stupid town. We'll take our anger out on you. I have never seen a saltier gym leader. Oh goodness, he even looks angry. Like. <laughs> Like, at least he starts with one of these. I was sort of right. I didn't catch him any Pokemon he had, though. They'll tell him when he's on the last one, however. I 
think it's gonna kill. I might be close. No, I don't think it's going to. Looking at it again. Oh, it did. Okay. <laughs> what I say about critical hits? I'll just stay in because of the Moxie boost. Um, I haven't seen that name yet. Although it has EWL in its name, so I'm going to assume it's another, like, bombing Pokemon. Oh, no. What is... Is that meant to be a giraffe or something? Huh. It looks like an enemy from Xenoblades. Like, doesn't it? What the... Commutor. Huh, okay. That one neutral. Oh, it's probably rock um rock psychic. Using a super potion. Alright. It's gonna tell me if this is super effective after the fact, but it looks like it it That looks super effective to me. I don't know about you guys. Just how much damage it's doing. It didn't say it was super effective, or I guess it was something else then. Alright, this thing. Stay in, because of that moxie boost. Don't want to waste it. I also get as much done as I can. Now, this might be a yet another gym that Sean is going to sweep. <laughs> this is most definitely my best Pokemon right now. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Tracton. Oh, this is the thing I have. Yeah. Finally, someone worth battling. <coughs> really, buddy? He's finally faster. Sure! <laughs> worth battling. Yeah. Just one-shot a giant tractor dragon. Like... <laughs> Okay, that's probably the greatest thing I've done in this game so far. Faint attack? Um, what does that even do again? Dark move, 60 power. It, And it doesn't miss. Now, I got air release for stuff that doesn't miss, and I got beat up for dark moves. Now, that that's... No, nah, I don't want that. That was the easiest one yet. <laughs> it's, even he's surprised. How are you so strong? I don't understand. All I do every day is train and train, and yet some little brat like you marches right at- Hey, you don't have a fighting sheep on your side. Well, Levi, you made my day a little less boring. I guess I should give this to you. Pixel Badge. I like the name of that. And I guess since you won, I'll give you this, uh, Gyro Ball. Okay. I forgot if that move is physical or special. It's a steel move that gets stronger the slower the user is. So it's good for Gariol, but worthless for Tracton. As long as you're not a moron about using it, it's a strong move. Okay. <laughs> huh, okay, I guess that bridge uh, reappears after I fight the gym leader. Like, the one that's straight. That's kind of interesting. Hmm... Oh, also, I found this out off-screen. I didn't expect this, but Nymphlora actually has more attack than special attack. It looks like it would have more attack, though, wouldn't it? Now, whatever. I'll probably teach it play rough at some point, assuming I have him for much longer. Let's see if anyone can actually get Gyro Ball. Uh, you can. If you're a moron. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, what do we got? Hey, you game dog? Oh, good. Listen, there's this kid named Terry or something. He got his Pokemon out, and he looks kind of upset. And he had told me he was looking for you. Can you uh, make sure he's okay, please? He looks a bit too young to be on his own. He's by the town entrance. You know, with crazy hair like that. Oh, goodness. They're fine. I'll deal with him in a second. Let me go heal real quick. Actually, I think I'll leave it off here. Like, we explored a town, we, um... We, we beat the angriest gym leader of all time, and <laughs> it's... Who I just swept with my sheep, because, of course, of all people... I, I would sweep a gym with a sheep Pokemon, like... <laughs> nah, whatever. 
Alright, well, I guess next time we'll go fight him, so I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.